Hey everybody, it's Miss PC Tricks back at you again with another tip to make your tech life a little bit easier. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to delete the internet browsing history in Firefox. All you have to do is open a Firefox browser, go to View, Sidebar, History. And as you can see, you can also click Control H to get the history instead of going through the view sidebar. Now, aside from the obvious reasons of why you'd want to protect your privacy by deleting history, you also might want to delete individual sites so that people don't see what you've gone on for Christmas presents or birthday presents when that time of year rolls around. Oops, sorry, hang on, my cat just jumped on my monitor. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the other reason is that you can uh, delete single sites just so people don't know what you've been on and um, you don't have to delete the whole history because that kind of looks suspicious so deleting just a couple sites here and there doesn't really make a difference. So the way you do that is by either expanding a site folder by clicking on this arrow and it'll give you a listing of all the pages. Basically the folders are just uh, folders of the domain and you can change the view too. You can sort by date and site, which is how I have it sorted, by site, by date, by most visited and last visited. Date and site I find is the best because it keeps everything in alphabetical order and it's really easy to find. Also if you want to find a website you can put it in the search uh, box here and it'll come up with all the pages that you were searched on under that site. Okay, so let's try deleting just one site here. Go to eBay, I guess. Right click and just say delete. And boom, it's gone. It'll also delete, um, when it deletes your history, when you go back to the domain, it will also take off any evidence of the links that you clicked. You know how some hyperlinks t um, tend to turn purple when you click on them and uh, leave telltale signs that you visited the site. Okay, well, deleting that site in the history is a good way to get rid of that. So you can still keep a lot of your history intact so you can see where you've been if you need to go back there for a page that you forgot or something, but without deleting the whole thing. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed that little tip there. Um, if you did, I hope you subscribe to my channel. If you friend me, I will friend you back. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure.